So most teachers use Google Forms to take quizzes, but Google Forms can just be simply for survey uses. How do I get to Google Forms? In your drive, new, more, purple Google Forms. And it's not purple, just full of more, it's just the way it came out. So first things first, let's name it. How about calling it Website Survey? The nice part is, if I click up here, it picks up the name as well. I can start asking questions, or I can put my name. I would suggest putting your name up here, just so people know who it is, and maybe your topic. Now you have to have eight questions, and you're asked to have three different types of questions. One of the questions would be a multiple choice type question. So let's go ahead and start typing a question. Something like, did I have enough pictures? And what's happening is Google Forms is trying to think, mm, hey, would you like to have these be your options? No, let's actually give them some choices to choose from. So I'm going to click here. Instead of typing option one, I'm going to type just the right amount of pictures. Sorry about that. I want another, add another option choice. I click add option and I keep going. What a lot of people confuse is this add other. So let's say you were asking what's your hair color and you ask blonde, brown, and red. And you want to add an other in case somebody wants to write gray. Well then you would add other for them to give you a choice. But other than that, stick with as many choices as you want. Down at the bottom, require people to answer the question. That means they can't skip it and they can't submit it until they actually answer it. And you have choices now. And let's go add another question. And again, this is going to be a multiple choice question. If I don't want multiple choice, I could change it to, sorry about that, I lost my network connection. So I can add another question. I can make it another multiple choice. Also, I can make a short answer. So let's go with a short answer. Um, please give a suggestion. So I finished typing my question. Make sure I make it required and I can add another question. A newer feature in Google Forms, this little icon right here means you can add a picture to a question. Not that it's required of you, but you could add a picture to a question. Or you could even add pictures down here to the answer options. But you don't have to, it's just another choice that you could do. Um, what if you decide, you know, I typed this question, but I think it would be better up at the top. When I'm on a question, these six little lines, little, sorry, six little dots, if I grab it, I can drag it and move the questions around. So I can grab and drag and move the questions around. And let's try one where it's called a linear question. So I'm gonna add a question and a linear scale. And I'm gonna give people a chance to give me their opinion. So on a scale of one to five, on a scale of one to whatever. Okay, I do have one trick here. Don't give them a one to five, give them an even number. That way they have to pick a side. Either they really, really liked it or they really, really hated it. But I wouldn't give them a one to five, an odd number. I'd give them an even number and make them tell you what they really, truly thought of it. So on the question is on the scale of one to six, finish asking the question. And then you got to label the low. Is the low a, lo a very bad or is it high? So I'm going to say page wasn't complete page exceeded my expectations. And again, make it a required question. So you're required to have at least eight. Here's four sample questions you can use. Ask some more. Please don't ask them questions like a quiz, like what was the answer on page whatever. Don't do that. Nobody enjoys a quiz like that. So this is just the basics of setting up your quiz.